Armando said because my parents came into the beautiful country when I was eight. Immigrant, oldest of two, my brother was two. Um, it was a culture shock, not knowing the language, looking different, sounding different, um, hearing, you know, go back to your country, you're ugly, what are you doing? I was told by teachers that I wasn't going to amount to anything. <laughs> and again, confidence. I always knew that one day people would know who I was. Um, but just to give you all a, a bit of how it all started is I'm, I'm used to beating the odds and being the underdog even before I was born. Now, some of you might be like, what are you talking about? Before I was born, everybody told my mom that I was going to be a girl. <laughs> so if you can beat those odds, honestly, is there anything that you cannot do? Um, when my mom was actually giving birth to me, um, she had a heart attack. True story. And uh, the doctor came out and uh, um, told my, asked my dad, Mr. Vega, you need to choose between your wife or your newborn. And he's like, well, you gotta save them both. So it, it's, been, it's been a long journey. It, it's never been easy sometimes. People see the result, but they don't see the, 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 the sleepless nights, the work that took you to get there. Uh, the rejections, the self-doubt, because a lot of times they see me on social media and they're like, my God, you know, I, I love your story, overnight success. And I'm thinking, my story has been a 17-year overnight success. So those of you that may know a little bit about me know that it's, it hasn't been easy. I don't have rich parents. I don't have a, what's called a safety blanket. This real estate needed to work. And I think that was the, the, the mindset that I needed to have um, from day one. So one of the things that Ruben asked me was, can you talk about your mindset during COVID? Because obviously last year was a, a very challenging year for all of us. I mean, not only did we had COVID, the shutdown, a lot of businesses suffered, a lot of businesses that were open 20, 30 years were forced to close their doors. A lot of families that, that put their heart and soul into a business were forced to say, we, we can't continue just because their businesses and lives were disrupted for three months. Um, the minute that we got shut down, obviously me as a broker owner, a lot of my agents did not come to the office because we didn't know how you can get this. It was the fear of the unknown. And I started going to the office by myself and I said, okay, well, it's been such a long ride. I, I didn't come all the way to quit now or be forced to, to, to close doors. I got to be resourceful. So the mindset had a lot to do with it. it it's how I, how I saw things. And I said, okay, well, if it is to be, it's up to me. I'm going to find a way. I got to be resourceful. And one of the things that resonated with what Armando said is that uh, customer service driven. Um, I started contacting my friends, family, past clients, and everybody that I had on my phone, everybody that was on my social media, to let them know, how are you? It wasn't about, hey, I know you just lost your job. Would you like to buy a house? Those, was, those were not the conversations that I was having. I was more like, Armando, ¿cómo estás? How are you? Hey, this is Ulises. Um, I, and sometimes I would joke around and say, hey, do you need toilet paper? <laughs> Do you need me to pick up your groceries? Do you need me to pick up your, your, your prescription? Because a lot of elderly clients could not go out. So I was coming from a giving place. I was, and, and, and it was truly something that I felt. It wasn't because I knew eventually it would come back uh, to, to feed my business, but I truly cared. There was a lot of uncertainty. And uh, when I started doing that, and I realized that People needed to hear you. People were, were hungry to hear from somebody say, everything's going to be okay. We are going to be okay. And I think when I started doing that on a regular basis, uh, I started to see those phone calls and those connections come back and they were asking me, hey, by the way, is there a good time to sell? Is there a good time to buy? Rates dropped. People started buying. But it was a month and a half of me being by myself at the office um, and literally 
doing the basics, the door knocking by myself, the cold calling by myself. I do a lot of social media and videos. I was doing that like there was no tomorrow. And I think that's what resonated with, with all of my, my sphere. Um, I started um, inspiring my agents because they started seeing, well, if the broker's doing this, I guess it's okay to do so. Um, I would literally sometimes go and stop by and see a, a friend, a client that lived nearby, and I would just literally just say, hey, just wanted to see how you were doing. Is there anything I can help you with? Is there anything you need from me? It wasn't about you want to buy a house, you want to sell a house. Hey, I noticed that you got laid off. You might need to short sell your house. It had nothing to do with, with real estate, but it was about showing that you really cared. So to me, mindset is, is everything. What happens when we have a computer that is kind of slow? Sometimes we have to reboot it, right? I mean, we all have a computer. Sometimes our phones, you know, when you have to download the new Apple, whatever software or program, we gotta download it. We often have to reboot the way we think. Um, one of the things that Armando mentioned uh, time and time again, association. Who are you associating yourself with? You're a reflection of the top five people you hang out with, you text, um, you, go, you have lunch, dinner, and sometimes you have to realize um, that those inner circle that we thought were cool, they're not really bringing anything to the table. And sometimes tough choices have to be made. Sometimes you have to cut those people loose because they're um, taking over your energy. They're draining your energy, your mind, your time. And time is something that you will never ever be able to get back. Um, you also have to have a why. Uh, we heard from Armando, we heard from Ruben. What is your, what is your purpose? Why do you do what you do on a daily basis? Why do you get up every day even when you don't feel like going? A lot of people tell me, Lisa, says that you have the perfect life and you're so positive. It doesn't, doesn't seem like you have a bad day ever. And I'm like, no, I'm human. And I probably have more bad days than, than I can think of. But at the end of the day, you've got to step out of it. You cannot let one single action completely dictate the day, the week, the month, the year. And sometimes you see people dwelling over stuff that I'm like, dude, just drop it. Don't let that, uh, it, it, as they say, it's, uh, it was a lesson learned, not a life sentence. Has anybody heard of that? Um, my, my goal is to drop a golden nugget that you all can immediately take and execute. And it doesn't have to be about real estate or if you're in the lending business, an entrepreneur, whether you're a father, uh, a single mom, a spouse, it's all about mindset. It's all about communication. Um, how do we view everything? Um, you know, what, what's your take on mindset? Well, you know, when you hear mindset, it's such a broad subject that you can probably have a thousand answers. But to me, mindset um, is everything. It starts with mindset. It's how you view things. Has anybody heard, you know, 50% of the battle is believing you can do it? The other 50% is just showing up and, and execute. Uh, whenever I go on a listing appointment, I already imagine myself with my for sale sign in the front yard. Some people might be like, well, you're just cocky, you're arrogant. No, I just believe in myself and I've always believed that I'm the right person for the job. Whenever I compete uh, against other top listing agents in my area, I respect them, but I know I have what it takes to compete at their level. You gotta believe in you before somebody believes in you. Another thing that a lot of times we fail to do regularly is self-development. I wish I would have been exposed in my early 20s to self-development uh, because you kind of wonder where would my life be, my business, but you cannot dwell on the past. I just want to make sure that all of you realize um, how important it is uh, to have a good mindset. Surround yourself with people that are going to uplift you and that may include relationships, friendships, family. Sometimes you have to cut family that, that, that drains you. Sometimes you have to cut friends that all they do is, oh my God, you're still in real estate? Oh my God, like, like, like somebody passed away. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you have to let go of, of a, a spouse, a friend that you thought, you thought was, what, had you got? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, 
It might hurt, but sometimes you need that in order to grow. You gotta check. You gotta check your your your, your top five people on a regular basis. Um, and again, mindset is everything. Check your mindset daily. You know, are you doing activities that are gonna be lead generating activities? Sometimes we feel that being busy is the way to go. I would rather focus on hours, three hours that are gonna give me results than nine hours of nothing. It's quality versus quantity. So mindset is everything, guys and gals. I wanna make sure that all of you realize the importance of having a positive mindset, realizing that you are the architect of your own future. You are the architect of your own future. And like what Armando said, you wanna make a six, seven figure income? You got what it takes. You just gotta be willing to pay the price. You gotta be willing to be disciplined. You gotta be willing to do the daily activities. Has anybody heard of the phrase um, repetition boredom? It's, it's, it's sometimes doing the boring repetition, the boring call calling, the boring door knocking, the, the boring videos and all of that stuff. But that's what gets you the listings. That's what gets you the clients. We often want the seven, the, the six figure income when we get a, a real estate license, but we're not willing to put in the work that, that, that gets you that. You wanna become a champion, well you gotta act like one, you gotta dress like one, you gotta be disciplined like one. You gotta be willing to put your ego aside, check your ego at the door, and always be willing to learn from others. Um, we had an amazing lunch. Armando, we wanna thank you for that, because I was listening to the Crypto Queen, I was listening to my brother over there to the left, and I was just like, listening to everything that you were saying, I was glued because again, you don't get a lot of chances to be having lunch with somebody that's a seven figure earner, that's just cool, calm, collective and willing to share. So be open to constructive criticism, be willing to take notes and realize that if you're the, smart, the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. I've been in real estate for 17 and a half years. I've sold over a thousand homes, but the thing, that I wanted to accomplish today was inspire at least one person. If I could do that, uh, today was a blessing. So um, I wanna thank all of you, and I know this is the first, but certainly not the last time I'll be on stage with Ruben. So, brother, I love you, thank, thank you, you so much. You. All right, let's give a huge round of applause. Great job, Thank Let's give another huge round of applause. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He has some news he wants to share with you. Just kidding. All right, <laughs> 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 Up in that seat.